Hi, this is Dr. Don, and we're on part three of the Monte Carlo simulation series of videos. We're now going to move ahead. In part two, we talked about building randomized variables. And in this part, we're going to change two of the variables that were fixed in the basic model and, and make them randomized variables. We're changing the unit variable cost, UVC, and making it in a normal distribution variable. And there you can see the random function, which is critical to the simulation. And then we've changed the demand, also made it normal just for simplification here. There's the RAND function. In this case, we're rounding because units, we don't want fraction of units. And down at the bottom of my assumptions table, you can see where I put that data, and that's the references here, C23 and D23, and C25 and D25, that populate those models. Okay. I built uh, the start of a table off to the right here. When you do a simulation, you need to have not only the values that you're looking for, in this case we want the delta, the difference in costs, and the decision, but we need to have all the variables that are changing. In some models, that, that can make this a pretty big table, as you'll see when we look at multi-year forecasts. The reason for that, if you don't have the variable that contains the random function over here in your simulation, then it will not necessarily update every time you want the simulation to occur. So the only way to force it is to make sure that every variable that you want to randomize is included in this table. We start with getting our trials. And I know in the video I showed you, Excel's fun guy talks about calling up a, a special menu. The way I like to do it is just go to Home, Fill, Series, select Columns to make sure it goes down. I'm just going to do 100 here just to make this video go faster and click OK. That gives me my trials. Now I need to populate the table and we link back to the cells that include that random function. So this is my UVC. I'm going to link to that cell. My demand D, I'm going to link to that cell. My delta is one of my outputs that I want. So I'm going to link to delta, and then I want my decision, manufacturer, and what I like to do is copy that formatting right there so it'll be replicated as it goes down. I think it replicates automatically. But there is the, the basic table now. I've got the two variables that we're randomizing. We've got the two outputs that we want to talk about. So if you remember, we need to select that row that's got the formulas. If you select the header, the, this won't work. And the reason we use the data table, remember, if you've got 10,000 trials and you manually copy these formulas down, Excel can really, really, really slow down. It can actually stumble sometimes. It's better to use this data table trick. So we select that row that has the formulas and the, the trial number. And I like to use the control shift down arrow to automatically go down to the bottom of the data, select it, and to get back to where I want to actually do something, we go to control backspace and it brings us back up to the top. That's control down arrow, control backspace. Those are handy when you've got 10,000 rows. So next we go to data, what if analysis, data table. We don't put anything in the row. Remember we're tricking data table and we don't want to actually relate to any of the formulas here. So pick, make sure your cursor is in the column input cell. Pick a blank cell, a cell you know you're not going to later put something in. And then we click OK. Sometimes it takes a while Okay, it populated there. One thing you need to remember, uh, depending upon what you've got happening, you may want to set your calculation 
option so you can control it. Remember that's formulas, calculation options. You can have it set for automatic, except automatic except for data tables. When you're doing the simulation, sometimes that's helpful, or you can set it manually. Manually means you hit the F9 key. Automatic means if you make a change somewhere on the table, then it will update. But in this case, it, I forgot that it does not take the formatting, so you'll have to format these. You can see it didn't include the dollars here or there or my conditional formatting, so you'll have to, to copy those formats down. So, But anyway, I hope this helps you see about setting up the data table that you need for the Monte Carlo simulation. <laughs>